Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is kind of part two. I finally figured out how to show something on the screen for printing. And I did a video several weeks or months ago. And if you haven't watched that one, just go into uh, YouTube, which you're on right now, watching this, and just put this up in your search of YouTube. Uh, engraving deep and, and this video would come up I just took a screenshot of this video but somebody questioned it they didn't understand how I ran this twice like I said through the print driver and this has saved me a lot of time because I do a lot of work for myself that I use inlay and I want a little extra depth so I won't sand the inlay away and I, I do a lot of work for other people that that fill in with inlay so if you wanted to inlay this star and you knew, and if you'd watched my video, that uh, you can, you know, get to different, you can get to the same depth with uh, less, you know, speed. And, but it does take longer. I'm not going to, you know, say that it's not going to take longer. And you could actually do the vector and, and save time and actually go deeper. But if you don't like doing that, uh, but if you want to run something twice or even four times, you would have to stand over the laser and actually stand over the laser to run this star or whatever you're engraving. In my particular case, I can sit at my desk and, and watch my laser working through a, a monitor so I know it's safe. But so I I might want to run this star four times and, uh, you know, go three eighths of an inch deep. Well, I don't have to want to stand by the laser and press the go button every time. So inside your print driver, and this isn't one set up for a laser, but it's the same thing. And like we talked about it in a video just earlier today, you pick selected. You don't even have to do that. Well, you would in this case because you just want the star deep. But then right here, number of copies. All you have to do is tell it you want one, two, or three copies. And when you press go and print, it is going to engrave this, go back to home, and come immediately back and engrave it again, and and repeatedly do that to you. And it just to me, it saves a lot of time instead of just standing over the laser watching something. And uh, it'll do it automatically, just by going to print and hitting number of copies. I think I said in the video, number of pages. It's not number of pages, it's number of copies. You're basically making a copy of that same page over and over and over and over again. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.